Let's now do some business-related stories. Now, a senior research scientist with the Savannah Agriculture Research Institute, Dr. Nicholas Denwa, has underscored the need to develop new varieties of soybean for commercial farmers in northern Ghana under Pan-African Soybean Variety Trials Project. According to the soy bean breeding expert, the current varieties increase post-harvest losses and does not encourage large-scale uh, cultivation of soy beans. The our northern regional correspondent Noah Nash filed this report. In a bid to improve the cultivation of soya beans in Ghana using improved varieties, the Pan-African Soya Bean Variety Trail Program was introduced in northern Ghana to enhance the breeding of new local varieties using high-yielding varieties within Africa. The unique breeding technique has propelled the commercial agenda as well as addressed the concerns raised by commercial farmers in northern Ghana. A soya bean breeder with CSIR Sal, Dr. Nicholas Denwell, in an interview with GH1 News, underscored the need for a new variety for commercial farmers to minimize the post-harvest losses as well as maximum gains from farmers' investments. Soybean farming is really uh, difficult when it comes to planting and harvesting. Harvesting, the, 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 the small-scale farmer will have to pull out the whole plant and trace it. But to grow soybean on commercial basis, you need to grow a large acreage and you cannot use manual labor to harvest it. So the commercial farmers are using combine harvesters and the combine harvesters, they need to cut the plant at some level and they realize that the pots of the soybean are not high up there. So when they cut, they leave some of the pots on the plant and that is a loss to them. So they are asking for soybean that will pot above some minimum distance from the, 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 the ground. So they're looking for soybean right that are tall, but also pot a little bit higher up, so that when they are cutting, they don't leave any pot on the plant, which will constitute loss to them. Partnership with Soya Bean Innovation Lab, there is a herbicide trial underway to enhance weed control on commercial. This, Dr. George Awini, cautioned farmers in the region to observe the safety protocols to save the environment. Populations are growing. There's no way we can run away from People must eat. So once population is growing, there's no way that we can avoid uh, uh, using uh, these chemicals. The only way we can do it is doing it with care. Professor Peter Goldsmith, who visited the soybean smart farms in the northern region research fields, expressed satisfaction about the level of commitment by commercial farmers to adopt the high-yielding research varieties for soybeans in the north.